Man, it's been a while since I've uploaded last on YouTube, but uh, if you guys follow me on Instagram, a lot of you guys know that I purchased a new car. My bike is gone, and my old car is gone, the Supra, but my new car does not fit in here because it's huge. Um, I am back on a V8. Um, it's not NA. Um, it's my first ever uh, Chevy car. So I purchased a 2023 Camaro ZL1 10 speed in this beautiful blue. And it's fully loaded, like fully spec'd out. It's got the carbon fiber. I know a lot of them come with that, but a lot of them don't apparently. And the interior is crazy. Um, I don't want to get anywhere next to recording. I'm holding this, so I need a fit. But it's a stock exhaust. I got it with 10 miles and they delivered it to me from Victorville. A little rumble. But um, I don't plan on doing anything for at least a year, mod wise. Like, I'm going to do my exhaust right away. I'm um, thinking about lowering it, <clears throat> thinking about doing the satin black. Uh, hood um that's all gonna happen right away actually i just don't want to do headers pulley e85 right now because i want to enjoy the car finally having a quiet car because the supra was obnoxious to pull it at night uh right now i'm gonna go to a different spot to show you guys the interior give it a little a couple revs hopefully um i don't have a stand so i'm gonna have to hear you guys anything from the inside um it's not loud it sounds okay it burbles a lot i'm missing my tow hook thing from the front i think that's normal but I'm ordering one, anyways. But yeah, I'll pick up the vlog in a little bit. So right now I have it on tour mode, very quiet. It's only got 217 miles. Yesterday was the first time I filled it up after owning it for two days or three. And holy moly, I am not looking forward to these expensive gas trips, but that's the whole purpose of owning this beautiful car. So it's got like Recaro seats, it's got Elton Terran suede. It's got this cool Chevy performance thing that came on. I know a lot of them don't come with this. Um, let me try on the AC, actually, it's pretty hot. And that's the Tron the AC, you just twist it, it's pretty cool. And then one thing I love about this car that I know many of them don't come with either, flip this, you got 4K um, in the back. Now, I was looking at another ZL1 before this one because this one was uh, brand new and it was marked up to uh, $96,000 and I did not want to spend that much on a ZL1. Um, I found a orange one with 2,000 miles, 2023, six speed. Um, took it for a test drive. One of the things that bugged me is that the salesman there at that dealer um, that had the orange one, he was like, yeah, a lot of us took it out and give it a rip. And I'm like, why would you guys do that? Like, it's a car for sale, it's not your guys' car. I said that in my head, I didn't tell them that. No, I'm not really, I don't really care. But I'm glad it didn't happen. The interior, like the back, the seat I'm on, um, it was kind of like, had like white nail polish on it um, for 2,000 miles. Uh, it felt weird. It didn't have any of these cool like nice interior parts that it did and they wanted 80 and um, For 10 grand or $16,000 more, um, you know a new one. So I was like screw it You know, I worked with Victor Bell Chevrolet with the guy named Antonio there um, He made a lot happen. It was really cool Shout out to him and the finance manager and the manager as well like all the managers man. They came in clutch It was three days of emotional roller coaster um, very annoying, very hard. Um, Chevy's probably one of the hardest dealers I've ever worked with, but at the end it was worth it. I got this beautiful freaking ZL1. Um, I ended up getting the car for under MSRP, so I paid no markup and I got it for under MSRP, I believe. That's what they told me, because that's how I got approved. Um, yeah, I mean, it's cool. I mean, like I said, I wasn't gonna pay uh, $100,000 for a freaking ZL1. And the beauty about this is that these cars are gonna be discontinued this year. So they're gonna be very rare, and they're gonna go up in value. I don't plan on selling. I, mean, I say this about every car, man. I say I'm not gonna sell it, and I sell it three years later. But this car, I'm gonna the way I'm gonna have it is just gonna be perfect for me. And the only car I want after this is an Audi R8 or a GTR. So it's only up from here. I hope. <laughs> but uh, right now I'm heading to the spot. I'll show you guys more of the interior. Um, it's pretty good. It is a four seater. I mean, like every other ZL1. Um, but obviously, really, it's not really meant for anyone back there. Um, but yeah, I'll head to the spot, show you guys a little bit more, show you the outside um, and all that. I would give you guys a sound test of how it sounds on the inside, but I'm not really trying to give it gas. It's only got 218 miles. Um, it's still new. Once I get the braking period, I believe 500 miles, so I could do a little bit of pulls, and then 1,000 is when I can have fun. All right, guys, we're at the location. Um, a lot of people have seen this on my Instagram. I always come here to take photos of my cars. I had my Hellcat here, my Mustang, my Supra, now the ZL1, my, even my old Fiat. Can't forget about that. But yeah, man, um, those that want to see, I don't know if you guys see, but I did have a dark horse on order, um, you know, but it's still order confirmed, no schedule for production, it's, I ordered that in April, it's about to be June, 
Um, I like I said, I couldn't see myself spending eighty thousand dollars for interior mods and a futuristic looking Mustang. At least this speaks American. Still looks freaking amazing. Um, now, I, one thing I could agree is that the interior could be a lot better. Like I do like the seats. I like everything, but the screen I feel like it's so outdated. I feel like it's still the same screen from it was six years ago, five years ago. But I mean, other than that, this car is freaking perfect. And uh, I believe I have the thing back here because I know it's gonna be uh, a lot of people are like, "There's no way this car was a hundred thousand." But let me see. So here it is. It was ninety-six thousand dollars. Added markup twenty thousand dollars, which is insane. When they told me that, I right away backed off. Um, I didn't pay markup. I think I ended up paying this amount right here. That's what they told me. And you guys could pause um, and look at all the add-ons it came with. It's freaking crazy. And then they gave me this extra part. So I know that the one I have right now is definitely an aftermarket from them. Um, yeah, I was thinking about, I'm desperate to make this car loud. You know, the Corsa exhaust is like 3000 But um, a lot of people told me not to waste that much money on an exhaust. They say spend that money on headers. So I'm thinking about doing Catless headers and a Corsa X-Pipe just so I can get the rumble. Um, and I'm eventually gonna run a drag pack setup as well, but I'm gonna keep these wheels forever because these wheels are gonna hold value from what I'm hearing, especially with the paint finish. Um, I am gonna powder coat the brakes baby blue to match the color. I believe it's rapid blue or something like that. Um, I wanna do this satin block. I wanna PPF this because the front is just so aggressive. Like, man, it's crazy. I mean, I, I do like, people are gonna be like oh you could have bought so much more like um, like I told them when I was getting this I'm not paying markups for that I'd rather get a GTR but even the GTR now it's the interior is so played out like even the Hellcat interior is so played out from coming from a GTR as far as 2016 and a Hellcat red eye I mean so far the ZL1 is probably one of my favorites I hated the Hellcat red eye sold it for a Supra the GTR was a financial mistake um, the ZL1 is uh, probably one of my favorite cars. The, the reason I sold the Supra, I know a lot of people were going to ask, I didn't fit in it comfortably. I'm 6'1". Um, I'm a big guy. So when I sat in it, it was very small for me. Um, when I first bought it, I felt like I was a little bit shorter, which makes no sense because it was only three years ago. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't end up liking it. And then um, it was just too much problems. And then with police officers, I mean, this is gonna be a cut magnet for sure, but I know a lot of police officers can respect American cars, and I'm not really done with it. So, you know, and then it came with this cool, the backup camera that I showed you guys earlier. But yeah, let me know what you guys wanna see. There's a lot of plans I have for this car. It's just gonna take a little bit of time because of the money. It was a lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna need a little bit of time before I start modding this car the right way. Um, but let me know what you guys, let me know what you guys wanna see. Like, videos, pools, for stock for stock, racing, a stock GTR for stock. Just this is where I stand. I want to get a lot, a lot of content with this car because that's something I slacked with the Supra, which I don't regret, but at the same time I do. But I know for sure the ZL1 is going to be really good content to make with, and uh, I just hope I can do a lot to it, like stage three cams, get this thing chopping, just a lot of things to it I'm going to be doing to this car. It's not going to be stock for much longer, hopefully. I mean, like I said, I don't plan on mounting it, modding it for a year, but I'm talking about like big mods. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. Um, comment down below. Leave a like. Let me know what you guys think about this car. If it's a W upgrade or an L upgrade. So yeah. Almost forgot. Before I end the video. Uh, this is a warm start. On a 2023 Camaro ZL1. 10 speed. Bone stock, no muffler delete, no res. Obviously you guys can tell. <laughs> but we'll see what happens in the next couple videos that I upload, hopefully. It's louder than what it is now.